Hey everyone, Goldie here, and today we are taking a look at the final new character of 2021 in WWE Champions, and it is Omos the Colossus. Um, so he is a modern era striker. Coach ability at 17k, which is 5 star silver or 5 star bronze with all full stars. Um, X break gems do 100% more damage. Um, top of my head, Hall of Fame Eddie, Tech DDP, Rhonda, anyone that uses an X, um, a two words for you plate, um, would benefit from that. Link and gear, no gear and modern era. I do have it on good authority that, uh, him and AJ will be getting a tag link. It is still in the works, so I don't know what it is yet. I don't know which AJ it'll be. Probably the tech that would make more sense, because uh, that's the most recent version of AJ, but that is apparently coming. Uh, hopefully, I will have a video of that tag link out later today. Uh, so we're just going to do a standard preview for Omos. I have uh, four builds that I'm going to show. One's available at two star, one is available at four star, and then two of them are available at five star. So we'll get right into it. Uh, two star build that's available, double black with red one. Uh, the JKCB, which apparently stands for Jackknife Choke Bomb, which I think is easier to say than just spitting out all the letters. Anyways, uh, 10 MP finisher. Deal 115,664 damage, choose two columns to destroy, and pin the opponent. Black 2 is the KO Punch, 4 MP, deal 52,907 damage, and choose one column to make into power gems of strength 36,251. That is substantial for a 4 MP move. And red 1 is the Colossal Headbutt, 4 MP. Deal 48,585 damage and choose a 1 by 3 area to swap into black gems. Entourage, we're going to run Butch for more starting red MP to get everything going on turn 1. Uh, gonna use TLO Taker, uh, not for the extra power gem because it's a set area that you're creating. So him and Hall of Fame Nikki will not work to generate an extra gem. But they will still work on the damage even though it doesn't show here. Normally, it would be highlighted in green. Doesn't show on this page, but it will show um, in the match. So we're getting 53% more power gem damage from TLO Taker, and 10% more from Hall of Fame Nikki, and then we're going to use Elias just to charge up the black moves quicker. For the strap, I'm going full armor. For the most part, we're maxed out. Uh, with the exception of the move metal itself, I've tried to level it up as much as possible. It didn't want to go past level 12, so we have a 99.89% um, boost to the finisher. I am not running a plate in this build, but I would recommend the cheap shot because you'll hit the finisher, uh, percent damage on the finisher, power gems, depending on how many columns you have out, will take effect and cheap shot hopefully helps to keep them down. I also want to point out that I do have max tour perks. So 20% more health, three more MP for all moves and matching all color gems charge moves by that of that color by two more move points. So we are going to be charging things a lot quicker than normal. This may be a little more reflective of a feud um, with feud perks if your opponent doesn't have MP down. Uh, but just keep that in mind throughout the preview that the tour perks are maxed. So things are going to happen a little quicker, maybe a turn or two faster than normal. And we are going to uh, go against Ivar. And uh, let's, let's see what Omas is all about. So this is a big guy, right? He's what, seven foot two? Okay, he looks 
I mean, he almost doesn't fit in the ring, so they got that right. Uh, so because of the max tour perks, the 4 MP are going to be ready to go. What we are going to do is put a column of power gems, use the headbutt, and we could try for a wild card or because we have tour perks up the you know what and Elias, uh, we can just do this and make a row break. And that should charge both of these. We didn't cascade, which is excellent. So we'll drop a second column. Um, he's probably going to swipe that to get out of the pin. So we can put that there. And then, uh, so the jackknife choke bomb with the percent metal, 210,186 damage, choosing two columns to destroy. We're going to look for columns that have at least three reds and three blacks combined, uh, because that way we'll charge up our moves for the next turn. So this one has two reds and one black, um, and this one has one red and two blacks. So that'll charge up our moves if he kicks out, which he doesn't, but. And we only broke one power gem. The power gems are hitting for 59,000 with Taker and Nikki. And if for some reason he did kick out, that would be ready to go on the next turn. So fairly straightforward, like I said, max tour perks, so maybe a more realistic expectation is that it's going to be a turn slower, possibly. The moves are low charge, which is super helpful. So that one is super straightforward. Let's go ahead and look at his four star build. The four star moveset that we're going to take a look at is double purple with red two. So purple one is a Beal, one MP, deal 29,399 damage and destroy four random red gems. Purple two is the shoulder block, four MP, deal 56,221 damage and increase your red gem damage by 100% for two turns. And red two is the colossal backbreaker, Deal 87,653 damage and choose six gems to make into purple gems. So the entourage for this, I'm going to go red, dam red gem damage focus. I have no words. Uh, we're going to use Butch for more red MP, Powerhouse Roman for 35% more red gem damage, Typhoon for 15% more, and uh, Santa Hogan just for an extra 600 flat if you have them. At 4k, it's 1100, 9k is 2200. I haven't worked on mine yet. Um, for the belt, I do want to point out so this build does look better on paper. I feel like it would be better if this plate worked. It currently does not. Uh, but this plate, uh, this is the Omos specific plate that is coming out this weekend, Chain of the Colossus. Whenever you break four or more red gems, make four random gems into red gems at the end of your turn. Uh, so I found in testing this, I was running out of red gems. This plate, if it worked properly, would help you, um, <clears throat> pardon me. This plate, if it worked properly, would help you keep red gems on the board. Um, so in lieu of that working, we're going to use the what the rock is cooking plate. Whenever you break three or more red gems, get three purple move points at the end of your turn. And that is theoretically going to stack the red gem damage for us. Um, other than that, we're going full fury with a red percent because this red move is the one that does the most damage. Uh, you could do purple flat considering this is one MP and you're hitting it a couple times a turn with the rock plate. Uh, but again, the Colossus plate is the ideal one for this build. I just want to show this anyways, just because it's a preview and I like showing everything. So let's take a look at it. So again, we have max tour perks, so the four MP moves are ready to go, which means we can hit this a couple times in a turn to stack our red gem damage. I should have looked at it what it was before we boosted it. 35. So let's just say it was like 17k or something. Uh, boosted by 100% is 35k. What we're going to do is use the Colossal Backbreaker to give ourselves a 3 match and set up a 5 match. 
Um, so putting a five match here is gonna probably trigger that. So let's just make that three match. And... No, it's not gonna work. Um... Mm, I don't like any of this. One, two, three, four, and then we'll just put some there. But because of the tour perks, that will give us this move again. So we're going to go from 35k to 52. The hope is that this isn't going to cascade. Famous last words. You all know what I was trying to accomplish with that, though. So thankfully it's two turns, and he didn't pin us, so we can continue to stack the damage. So now it's 70k, and because we have the rock plate, when we break red gems, we're going to get three purple MP, so it's going to reload the one MP move for us, meaning we don't have to swipe, we don't have to end our turn. It is random destroy, so we just have to hope that we don't get a bunch of cascades. Wow, we didn't get a bunch of cascades. That's normally what happens. Um, but then we can hit it again. It will not charge the shoulder block because it's 4 MP, not 3. But this is going to be the problem with this build. So while it's nice that we're refilling the beal every turn, or every uh, time we use it, we're running out of red gems. So we can boost our red gem damage again. So we're at 88. We've stacked it like four times. Um, we can go ahead and destroy this. Then we can use the backbreaker. We could try to do another... You know, let's do that. And... Do a Slick Rick style um, four break. So we can boost this again, but we don't have any red gems. Uh, but might as well because it is two turns. Just for funsies. So now we've got it stacked five times, but there aren't even any red gems for me to click on and look at. So 105k for red gems, and we have none on the board. We can hit this for move damage, since it's a 1 MP move. And then the hope is that he's not going to pin us and we get a couple more red gems on the board when he kicks out. Or not. This is fine. This is fine. Everything is fine. Um, so we did lose a little bit of that damage, but... Definitely not a fast move set when you're trying to stack the gem damage. And again, we're out of reds. And we only destroyed two, so we're not going to trigger anything. We have to swipe our way out. Lo and behold, he gets his five match and he's ready to go. But we've, you know, we've knocked off a, con a considerable amount of health. Just kind of slowly chipping away at that and stacking. Uh, once again, nice of him to not pin us, but one red gem on the board. And we've lost our stacks, so. Yeah, and this is... This is going to be the issue. Now what? <laughs> uh, let's just take this four break of blacks. Yeah, so this is definitely where his plate working properly would come into play. You wouldn't be able to stack the damage multiple times a turn. 
uh, but it would certainly help you not run out of reds. See, like we have only four. Oh, we didn't cascade, so we can do that. And then we can break this one lowly uh, red gem. Oh look, we have two of them now. Yay! Two of them. It's like a 7-10 split in bowling. There's no way I'm gonna swipe to get both of those. Excellent. But now the problem is we're gonna stack all of our red gem damage. And he's going to pin us every turn, so we're going to lose a turn of stacking. But hopefully him blowing up the board means we're going to get more reds to choose from. Yay. Yeah! I know like. Thank goodness for the fury belt. Okay. So, start again. Unfortunately. Should be back at 35. Yep. Well, that's unfortunate. Hopefully, we don't cascade. Wow. Wonderful. One lowly red gem. Yeah, striker gem damage, 18, and then constantly boosting that. Use this. And we're just going to explode the board. Hey, we got a red cascade. Excellent. So, kind of a uh, frustrating way to run him. Um, if that plate worked, this build would be a lot better. Um, but, you know, being able to see how high you can stack the red gem damage is kind of fun. For me, anyways. Uh, maybe not when it takes 10 minutes, but worth a look anyways. Um, let's keep going and take a look at his 5-star build. The 5-star build is the Colossal Boot 8 MP black move. So, we're going to run two builds around it. Uh, so deal 93,052 damage and make nine random power gems in some multiply gems of strength eight. Um, again, I'm going to do this without using Matt or Sin Cara just because they're not available anymore and honestly not needed. Um, so we're going to run the first one with black two, the KO punch and red one, the colossal headbutt. And basically what we're going to do is choose a column to make into power gems. And then, oh look, the faction event started. And then um, convert them into multiply gems and then use the colossal headbutt to basically break all the multiply gems for like massive damage. Um, so Entourage, I'm gonna use Bray Wyatt to, for more black MP. Uh, Slick Rick, so that all the gems do more damage because you're not turning the multiply gems, like the power gems aren't turning into like black multiply gems, they're just multiply gems. So you gotta pick your column um, appropriately try to get as many black gems as possible and then uh, convert them into multis. We're going to use Slick Rick though and Santa Hogan so that all of our gems do more damage and then Elias just to make sure that everything charges up a little quicker. 
For the belt, we're sticking with Full Fury. I have a black percent for move damage. And not that you'd really need a plate with this, but Cheap Shot, always a good plate to use. So uh, let's see what kind of damage we can get with this. So because we have max tour perks, everything is ready to go. So we'll choose our column to make into power gems. There's a couple ways that we could play this. So if we could try to drain the health with the power gems first, but I'm going to do it the, the fast way first. If I knew how to talk. Um, sorry. Anyways. Uh, turn that into power gems. Thank you. We'll turn that into power gems. And then we're making a column. So we're making seven gems. Don't need a generator. Uh, if you had two columns out, maybe you would want to reuse Sinkara. Uh, but we're going to turn 9 power gems into multiplied gems of strength 8. So 118, 166, 90k. And then we're going to choose a 1x3 to swap into black gems. And when you're placing your column, you want to make sure that you have a red gem because with it being times eight, you only need to break one to charge up your moves again. And since we're making an area of black gems, that'll charge up the black moves. So, a mill. Super quick, high damage, very straightforward. Uh, there's one more build I want to take a look at with the five star move. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Yes, all new Omas. Thank you. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at that. The last build we're going to take a look at using the five star move, and the last build we're going to look at for the preview, is uh, triple black. So we're running the finisher the KO Punch, and the Colossal Boot. So power gems, columns of power gems on the board, turn them into multiply gems, and then choose two columns to destroy. So we're going to try to get at least two columns of the power gems out, and then we'll convert as many as possible into multiply gems and then destroy those columns. Uh, so the entourage I'm going to keep the same as before. Uh, Bray, Slick, Elias, and Hulk Hogan. You could use Sinkara to make sure both columns turn into multiply gems. I'm not too worried about that. And uh, the belt is going to stay the same. Cheap shot, uh, black percent. Could do a bad attitude plate. If you break blue, you get black MP, I think. Little scatterbrained right now, sorry. Uh, you could do that, but if we have one um, black multiply gem, we'll reload everything. So, gonna stick with the cheap shot and see what kind of damage we can do with this. So, we do need a black swipe, but that's perfect because we can put out a column of these. Um, he's gonna target black, red, and purple. So, I'll probably take that. So we'll go there just for safety's sake. And I'm going to wait until we take this, charge everything up, and get a second column out. So the issue here is that we don't have a whole lot of black gems on the board, and we have uh, we have 14 power gems, and we're only turning nine into multiply gems. So we gotta hope that at least one of the black gems hits. Uh, 
Oh, we got them both. Nice. All right. Cheap shot plate activate. 166k on the black gems and uh, 258,000 for the finisher damage plus the gem damage we're going to get. We are going to destroy our power gems. That's fine because like the multiply gems at 166,000, a lot more substantial than this 36k we're going to get. So feel free to destroy them. Hit the jackknife choke bomb, blow up these. Everything's refilled. Good night. 1.26 mil on turn two. Works for me. Striker with multiply gems to begin with is fairly strong. Um, never mind times eight without Matt. So, that to me is fun because you can also stack the black move damage as well. So, let's go ahead and conclude the preview. So, that's it for the preview of Omos the Colossus. Uh, four builds we took a look at. Three of them super solid, in my opinion. Uh, the Chain of the Colossus plate currently broken, so cannot preview it properly with that double purple build. Um, just want to bring up the point that I made at the beginning of the preview that I have been told he is supposed to be getting a tag link with AJ Styles. Not in game yet at the time of his debut launch contest. Uh, supposed to be with AJ, probably the tech, because that's the most recent version. But again, not sure what that is or when it will be live. Um, let me know what you think of having Omos in game and in general. Let me know what you think of him in terms of modern era strikers. We've gotten some really good ones lately. Um, and I think he's very powerful. I'd put him near the top. I'd like to know your thoughts. Let me know your favorite builds. Let me know if you're going to be shooting for him in the loot. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching. Thank you for being a friend. Take care.